Yes, I'm very excited. I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> goes back to the 80s. Uh, Nancy Cullen, an art teacher, uh, had uh, murals around the campus, but they were more themed for the subject matter that was that, that they were located near. There was a remodeling in the 90s, and that's the where we have the size that this size that we have now. And then the themes changed, and they were more what the students uh, came up with. Well, the first step is to the design, and so the students they come up with a couple of ideas in their sketchbook and then they pick one and they turn it in and it's selected. Actually they wanted it selected by the faculty and the faculty really enjoys doing that. There were about 25 entries and six were chosen. They need to cover up the preceding year's work and so first they scrub it a bit and sand it and then put gesso on it or block out uh, they water it down and they put a couple of coats over it so they start fresh and then they're able to draw on it with charcoal or pencil however but they have to enlarge it so that's an interesting um, problem and, and then they start with acrylic. So basically my mural I try to combine two things that I really love orcas and BTS into one painting so basically this this orca is supposed to represent a captive orca and this is supposed to represent a wild orca, and this one is supposed to represent it's like it lost its identity after it got captured, and then them meeting in the middle, middle is supposed to be like a serendipitous moment where like the captive orca kind of uh, meets back with its roots. The reference photo was from a music video that BTS did, Serendipity, um, and I just wanted to have something in the middle that where it was very like spontaneous and like pretty. I hope that. Um, it just somehow brings some, some type of comfort, like even if they don't necessarily understand the message or get the references that I have in it. The thought process behind this is that I chose seven characters, actually eight, eight characters of mine, and I decided to draw them in this mural. And the creatures on the right are seven demons, and they all represent a different sin. And on the far left, the bird is calling the demons to the light so they can redeem themselves. I'm very excited obviously about this because it's it's personal characters. I really enjoy drawing them a lot and painting them. So I really like the message that is given. And it's really great because they get to see their work well enough so that the whole school gets to enjoy them. And so that's it's wonderful for us to see. And I, I'm sure it will continue. Yes.